Here, the music just started. People are already flowing into this event, food trucks, games, and fun. And we've crisscrossed the metro from Prairie Village to Independence, and it's hot, no debating that. But people are finding a way to still enjoy the day and stay cool. This right here, the place to be, as close as possible to the water. Well, when I get in the water, it cools me off. But during the other time, I just melt it. People young and old finding out just how useful a water hose and a slip and slide can be, especially when the temperatures aren't on your side. Because it's so hot outside, so it's really cold on me. But even as sweat is beating down foreheads and backs, finding a way to stay cool on a day like today is for some a guarantee. I thought it was best to bring an umbrella, sit under the tent, and bring water. Drink your water, please. You're hot, go inside, stay in the shade, put that fan on you, just have a good time. And from one side of the state line to the other, the heat was just as relentless. Have you been melting out here in these torturous temperatures? Yes. yes. <laughs> For these folks traveling back to 1855, it helps them have a deeper appreciation for what it was like back then. It's fun to visit the little houses and feel the breeze move through them and think this is what people did before air conditioning. So rather under a tent next to a shaved ice truck or comfortably in your home, make sure to celebrate safely and if you can, under the shade. I was drinking water and I was trying to sh stay in the shade a lot and that sort of helped me stay cool. The wind was also very nice. And as we mentioned at the top, this event well underway and it goes well into the night with the fireworks starting at approximately 945. And if you're looking for somewhere to go, we have a whole list of places to enjoy America's birthday on Fox4KC.com. Lauren.